Um, so I'm in a wat somewhere outside of Wang Can. And if you could see there, there are toilets and bathrooms. They're very, very clean. Their monk told me that I could stay over here. Gonna cook my dinner. I uh, don't know yet, but I'll just mix vegetable in this yakisoba, which I bought from um, Lotus Fresh. I'm gonna put some of this radishes, uh, some of that, some leaves, maybe some broccoli, and then see what comes out. <laughs> So I think I've cooked quite a lot, so I tried to offer some of this to the monk and he said just one, he signaled one, so apparently um, when I asked him further, he said he only eat once a day and it's about 2.30 in the afternoon. So it's still a very long wait until tomorrow, so I don't think they're gonna keep this, perhaps take it as lunch for tomorrow. It's such a beautiful place, I mean this monastery still have a lot of projects to do but it has really great potential there's a lot of uh, space in the forest over there there's a lot of windy roads inside it's almost like a maze and it's just beautiful like being out there if i ever come back in this um, area again i'll definitely stop by and say hi it's amazing Now onward we go towards Nakon Panom. It's about 150 kilometers away. That is roughly two or three days. And that would be another day to add before I get to the climbing spot because it's an extra 40 to 45 kilometers, I think, from the border of Laos. And yeah, I'm excited. I can't believe how chilly it is right now. It's 13.7 degrees Celsius at about half past six in the morning. This dog wouldn't come to me. And again, he keeps following. See, he's still following right now. Don't be silly. All right, stop there. Oh my God. Rocking the leg. So lumber, made up lumber, okay. And, and do you eat them? Do you eat? No, 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 no. 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 Uh, same, same. They're lumber. Lumber, lumber. Ah, uh, rubber. Lumber, lumber, lumber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh my God. Farm? Uh, Philippines. Philippines. Uh, Philippines, yeah. So, um, just um, touring from Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai. Oh. Up to oh. Vietnam. Mm. And then Cambodia. Ah, yeah. Tua. Yeah, yeah, just, ah. just, just this bicycle. <laughs> yeah, bicycle. Yeah. yeah. Hello. I'm not here for a fight. Unless you want to. Come on. What are you looking at? Okay, smell, smell. Yeah, dog control. See if there's any drugs in there. No? Am I all clear? Come on. Let me give you a pet. Let me give you a pet. Yeah. <laughs> Buggers. You're actually friendly. All right, let me go now. I have things to do. Come on. Okay, smell, smell. All good there? Eh? Ooh, maybe they, you guys want some food. So I had an interesting chat with Adi and Lee, one of the locals that um, that lives in the town or village. Oh, sorry. Let me just focus that on. Oh, there's a lot of them. As I was saying, um, Adi and Lee told me that those things that they attach to the bark of the tree to collect the pulp, you know, from the skin, are actually being used to make rubbers. I was like, what? I didn't realize that. 
and when I actually touch it, yeah, it's super soft. Pretty interesting, and I'm glad that I actually took off from the main road a little bit, you know, going into the villages, because otherwise I wouldn't, I wouldn't have known what that's actually used for. And the two were kind enough to like explain to me what they are. But anyway, just look at this view. This is the Laotian side of Mekong River. This reminds me of some villages in Bergen in Norway. The only difference is these mountains would have been surrounded by snow. But the actual contour, the shape, it looks pretty much the same. Different places, different temperature, but have some kind of similarities. Yo, maybe I can grab some of this for my dinner. There's a lot of them. But thou shall not take anyone's property unless you have any permission to do so. So I'm just going to leave them as is. But look at that. There's a lot of tomatoes. I don't know if they're good though. Or like they're good to be sold or eaten. They look fresh, so they should be okay. Back to my bicycle. So at about 9.30 or 10 in the morning, when, when the sun is getting hotter, or about to get hotter, I shift from this hat, beanie hat, into this, because it has more cover in it. It allows some air to go through here as well, so um, it's pretty good. So these are the good ones. That has been harvested by those guys over there. I'm gonna no man's land out here because I'm surrounded by the Mekong River on the left hand side and another small river on the right hand side. So after this curb I'm gonna turn inwards again to the left and then after about 500 meters there's supposed to be a wat and obviously with a the wat there will be a village and I think that will be my turning point before I join the, um, the main road again number 212 at the moment. This road is beautiful. Look at that. I could ooh buffalo. Hello. If I ended up here for for around 5:30 in the evening, I'd probably set up camp here along with the buffaloes. Ooh, there's so many of them. Can you believe this? Oh my god. How many are they? Hello. You're curious, aren't you? Yeah, who is this guy looking at me, huh? Is that what you're thinking? Out here, just like a desert. Just waiting for the next village and I'll, I'll stop again before I rejoin the main highway, number 212. This road is just crazy. This is the kind of road that will get your tire punctured. So I'm driving very, very slow. I think I'm doing about three kilometers per hour. It's not a lot, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Goku is getting hot. I need to rest you now. It's so hot. It's 3 p.m. now. It's Normally the time where I started cycling again during the day. Um, so today I've started a little bit early at half past two. That's why I'm getting all this hot or heat. So um, I think after this curb here I'm gonna see a wat or a monastery, which means there will be a village. I'm gonna stop there for a bit, rest or perhaps do some cooking and then go again before I join the main highway. Oi, oi, oi. God, this is 
so long. There's so many trees with uh, rubber. 